What's up, Fresh Squad? We are back again talking about two of currently my favorite fragrances in my collection. And I'm sure you guys also like these fragrances because you've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title of the video. So you already know the fragrances I'm talking about today. We are talking about Aqua Di Gio's Profondo and Azaro Chrome Extreme. Now, before I get into the differences, not so subtle differences of these fragrances, I'm gonna ask you to do two things for me. I'm gonna ask you to like and subscribe to this video and also share the video with your friends, family, anyone you know who likes fragrances and comment what you think about these fragrances, if you've gotten the chance to smell both of them, if you own both of these fragrances, and which one do you prefer personally. Now, let's get into the video, but I, I don't think you guys have liked or subscribed yet, so just go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so if you guys have seen any of my videos before or if you've been following along so far on my fragrance journey on YouTube here, then you already know. I love Aqua Di Gio's Profondo. I think it's a great scent. And surprisingly enough, it was one of those fragrances that had to grow on me in the beginning because at first I wasn't sure what I thought about it. And it was one of those scents that it was a head scratcher i was i wasn't sure if i loved it i wasn't sure if i hated it I, I wasn't really sure i was really in the middle of it and then i started to wear it more because this was early on in my fragrance journey um so i really didn't have that much fragrances so i was just wearing this like almost every day every time i would go out try to spray some on and it was initially from one of the small sample bottles that I got from um, Giorgio Armani. I don't remember the size of it, but it was quite small. It was about this small. And I was using it, spraying it, spraying it. And then it started to go on me. And then I started to get compliments as well. I was like, yeah, you know, they're right. It really does kind of smell good. And then it became my favorite. And then I started to recommend it to you guys. And not just you guys, but almost everyone I've met who I've had a conversation with about fragrances. Now, enough of the glazing <laughs> and enough of the riding of this wonderful fragrance. Let's talk about what's inside of it. And then we'll talk about chrome. And then we'll talk about the differences between these two fragrances. So, Aqua Di Gio Profondo. This really opens up with a burst of citrus and salty aquatic notes. And that is really all the fragrance is about. Up until the mid leading down to the dry down, you're gonna keep that consistent citrus and salty note in there. Then you're gonna start to get that musky, woody, and earthy sweet fragrance. Now the projection on this and longevity is not that great, unfortunately, especially with reformulation. It was good initially, but then reformulation happened and then it's not so good now. So that's why this fragrance actually gets a lot of the hate that it gets currently. I still love it. If a scent profile is good enough, I will work with a fragrance. All you have to do is just overspray it and it will really get the job done. Now. Longevity projection wise, it's gonna be around a five to seven hour fragrance with the longevity projection is gonna be for the first two hours, maybe three, depending on how much you spray. Now, do I think it's still worth it? Go ahead and watch the video that I talked about this fragrance in initially. Got a couple views, got a couple likes on that. People agree, people disagree. Go join that video and hear me talk about that. Now, on to Azara Chrome Extreme, and this is also a citrus fragrance. It is also salty aquatic. It starts off with that citrus, but it doesn't have as much citrus and a kind of different type of citrus. The Aqua Di Gio Profondo has a bit of a mixture of a sweet plus a sharp citrus so they come they combine both of those different types of citrus this only has the sweet type of citrus so that's the difference there 
then you get that salty aquatic note then this dries down into not a musky fragrance but a sweet citrus and woody fragrance and that's the difference between both of these fragrances this i think the performance is probably a little less um, I think the longevity on skin is better, but the projection on Aqua Di Gio is actually better. So that's my opinion on that. Now, let's talk about why I got both of these fragrances. I had a great idea with getting both of these fragrances, and that was initially to obviously do a video like this to compare it. Have the um, Azaro in my collection as well, because I initially had Aqua Di Gio for quite a while. And also to layer them because based on the notes they're pretty similar so they should go together right wrong it doesn't always go together but these actually did and it amps up the projection on both fragrances when you layer them together initially you spray azaro chrome extreme then you spray aqua di Gio's on top of it so this first and then this you get an amped up citrus aquatic fragrance with some woody musky notes that is fantastic and they kind of just start to blend together that it kind of smells like both of them at the same time so it's like you're getting two fragrances in one but it also smells like one fragrance and the first time I tried this I got a compliment immediately someone was like yo what the heck are you wearing that smells so good you know obviously that was just a guy's compliment but I didn't have it around people for long either so I'm gonna test it out some more I'm gonna test it tomorrow actually I may give you guys an update in the comments I'm not quite sure yet but they go well together trust me it smelled good to me initially then I got that one compliment and I was like I know I was I knew I was doing something <laughs> I knew I was doing something now if I would say to get one of these fragrances, you know what I'm already going to say. I'm slightly biased um, because it's first love and all of that. I would say get Aqua Di Gio's Profondo just because I think it's going to be a bit more mass appealing and it projects, like I said initially, a bit more. The musky note in there, you, you're gonna find a lot more females love musky fragrances, and this just depends on the type of fragrance person you are. So, do you get fragrances just to add to the collection? Do you get fragrances based on a scent profile and what you like, or do you get fragrances for the compliments? Or if you're a combination of all of those, if you're the latter or the last two, I should say, then I would say definitely get both of these fragrances now if you're balling on a budget then i would definitely say just get a zara chrome extreme gets the job done and just ensure that you overspray it don't get the small bottle like me because now i kind of regret it i knew i was going to regret it when i initially got it but i'm going to try to not spray it as much and just interchange both of these bottles and i'll probably just get a back of bottle eventually anyway so it's whatever but I just got it real quickly didn't want to get the full bottle because i wasn't sure if i would be disappointed i wasn't disappointed it's a pretty good fragrance so i may just go heavy on this during the summer and then probably get a backup bottle or maybe i'll just use this one a bit more i think i'm going to be using this one a lot this summer i like it doesn't project as much but it's still a great scent profile it's a very fresh minty fragrance so this is what i'm going to be rocking this summer i don't even know why i'm bringing that into the video i'm not even talking about it but that's a good fragrance if you haven't seen my video on chrome fragrances the three best chrome fragrances according to you then go check out that video as well and really and truly both of these blue bottle aquatic fragrances they're going to be a hit most times remember fragrances are subjective so you may like it i may like it but then someone may not like it so you gotta just go with the one that hits most of the time you're not gonna please everyone and that's really not what we're here to do that's not what i'm here to do yeah i like my compliments but i also like what i like so 
it's whatever you want to do. <laughs> Everyone's a different type of fragrance person. So great fragrances, both of them. Um, I think guys more like Azara Chrome Extreme and girls like Aqua Dijo more. So I think that's the thing. And a lot of guys on here recommend fragrances. It's pretty what they like and not really what women like. So I have quite a few of those fragrances I can list off, but I'm actually going to do a video on that. Fragrances that guys like that women don't really like and fragrances that women like that guys don't really like. But yeah, that's my two cents on both of these fragrances. Great fragrances. You can't lose on getting any of these. One is a bit cheaper than the other and they pretty much do the same thing. I was really just nitpicking throughout this video. But yeah, great fragrances. I would recommend both. And that's all for me today, guys. Hope you liked the video. Hope you actually liked the video. You subscribe to the video. Comment which of these fragrances you have, which one you like, which one you dislike. And let's have a conversation about it. Let's have a conversation about it. <laughs> but yeah, make sure you like now, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Big up.